If you're looking for the best telescope for astrophotography, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on the features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have G Sky or Telescope 7 Tim. There's no doubt that astrophotography can be quite expensive, but what if you're on a super low budget, but still want to try taking photos of the moon or the stars? Then the G Sky or 7 Tim Telescope is the best option for you. The G Sky or is one of the cheapest options you can find online. But are they any good for astrophotography? The answer yes if you're a beginner. In our opinion, the G Skyer is the most reasonably priced telescope that produces decent images. It has a 400 focal length, which is enough for you to take photos of the moon. This telescope also includes a phone mount and remote control. So if you want to try astrophotography with your mobile device, this is the way to go. Since the G Skyer is quite affordable, you may see some chromatic aberration every once in a while. That just means you may find fringes of colors around the moon or other celestial objects. It's the reason why it's at the bottom of our list. But the good news is you can quickly fix it in post if you want. Moving on to the next at number 2 with Orion 10,015 Star Blast 4.5 Astro Reflector Telescope. Need a beefier telescope than the G-Skyer? Then consider getting the Orion 10,015 Star Blast. It costs $100 more plus some change but it has better features than the G-Skyer and already comes pre-assembled. As soon as you get it out of the box, you can use it right away. The Start Blast has a 450 focal length, which is 50 more than the G-Skyer. It also has an aperture of f 4 which lets in a lot of light. That easily translates to you capturing photographs faster than other options. Furthermore, it comes with an optional moon filter. If you buy it, you wouldn't need to get another filter for your camera and a more. The or Instead, it comes with a tabletop base. If you're a beginner, you may find it convenient since you can set it up on your table quickly. But for obvious reasons, you'll find it challenging to use if you're taking photos in remote areas. The number 3 position is held by Skywatcher Valguide 50 APO Refractor. It's always nice to save some money on equipment, but when you have a cheap telescope that produces distracting chromatic aberration, is it worth it? If you want a simple telescope for without spending a lot of money, then consider the Aval Guide. It's under $300, which is a fantastic price for a high-quality piece of equipment. It doesn't look as impressive from the outside as compared to its competitors. But when it comes to performance, it belongs in the top tier. In our opinion, the Aval Guide is a triplet APO refractor. As we learned in the earlier section, that means it has the necessary optics to correct any chromatic aberration that may occur. Its simple design also makes it easy for a beginner. It just looks like any regular telescope, and you can use it right away after you attach your camera to it. Next at number 4 we have Celestron, Astromaster 130EQ Newtonian Telescope. What if you're an experienced in astrophotography, but don't have enough money for an expensive telescope? Then the Celestron Astromaster is for you. For less than $300, it has most, if not all, the features that only more expensive options offer. With an aperture of 130m, it's perfect for photographing planets and deep sky objects. It also features a tracking equatorial mount, which is ideal for long exposure photography. If you're curious, tracking simply means it's motorized and follows objects in the sky with pinpoint accuracy. The only downside of the Celestron Astromaster is that it's not really for beginners. It's challenging to set up and use even without a camera. In other words, you need to be familiar with telescopes to use it to its full potential. But that doesn't mean you can't buy it even if you don't have the experience. After all, it's not a bad idea to invest in a good piece of astrophotography equipment early on. The number 5 position is held by Orion 9007 Space Probe 130 SD Equatorial Reflector Telescope. Orion is a quality brand of telescopes. It has tons of products that are quite expensive, but it also has budget-friendly options that are perfect for astrophotography beginners. The one that we like the best is the Orion 9007 Space Probe 130SD. What makes the Space Probe 130SD special is that it's made of quality materials, and it's less than $500. That's quite significant, especially that astrophotography demands high-class optics, which Orion offers. 
The space probe has a 5.1-inch aperture that lets you view and photograph distant planets and even nebulas. Its 24-inch tube makes it portable and ideal for long trips. The whole set also only weighs 27 pounds, which isn't substantial for telescope equipment at all. That means you can take it to remote areas without struggling too much. Another great feature of the space probe worth mentioning is its equatorial mount. It allows you to track stars manually with precision. The number 6 position is dominated by Celestron, next star 127's LT computerized telescope. Are you a beginner with some money but don't want to break the bank? Then you might want to take a look at the Celestron Next Star 127's Lieutenant. It's quite an advanced telescope that you can buy for less than $1,000. So what makes the Next Star 127's LT different? The SLT stands for Star Locating Telescope. That means it has a built-in computer. So you don't have to guess where any of the planets or constellations are in the sky. All you have to do is enter which celestial object you want to track and this device will find it for you. Now that's quite an advantage, especially if you're not familiar with astrophotography yet. The next star 127's LT comes in two telescope types, the refractor and Maxutov. It also has an aperture of 127, which is ideal for deep sky astrophotography. It will enable you to take photos of constellations and even observe Saturn's rings. Moving on to the next at number seven with Celestron, next star 8 SC telescope. The Celestron Next Star 8C is definitely for advanced astrophotographers since they need a long focal length for a narrow field of view. This telescope is one of the most expensive telescopes on our list, but it's also one of the best. It has excellent optics and computerized go to tracking. The Next Star 8SC comes with a simple red dot finder scope and a basic 25mm eyepiece. To take full advantage of the Next Star 8SC excellent optics, you should add a few good eyepieces. It's light portable, and very easy to use. The Celestron Next Star 8C has fully automated GOAT amount. It is featuring a database of more than 40,000 celestial objects. The goes to mount built into the telescope automatically locates and tracks objects for you. Perhaps the only issue with this telescope is that it has a focal ratio of f 10. That means it doesn't let in plenty of light for your camera. In other words, you may have to spend extra time to expose your images. In contrast, other options have a focal ratio of f 4, which is much better for astrophotography. The number 8 position is held by Celestron Next Star 6 SC. Offering the ideal balance of power, performance, and portability, the Celestron Next Star 6 SC is our pick for the best telescope overall. This Schmidt Cassegrain computerized telescope features a 150mm primary mirror that uses Celestron's proprietary StarPrite XLT multi coating system to enhance light transmission, making it an ideal solution for observing objects in the night sky. It works well for both local bodies, like the Moon and neighboring planets, as well as deep space objects, such as distant stars and galaxies. Along with its premium optics, the next Star 6 I see comes with an abundance of features to get the most out of your stargazing experience, including a fully automated mount that can automatically locate and track more than 40,000 celestial objects. Though it weighs approximately 30 pounds when assembled, it conveniently breaks down into separate, lightweight components, making it easy to transport. When you arrive at your stargazing station, the next Star 6 SC intuitive design and integrated sky line technology will allow you to assemble and align the telescope in just a few minutes. As part of the Lotta Next Star series, the 6 SC model sits between the 5 SC and the 8 SC telescopes. Though it's slightly heavier and carries a higher price tag than the 5 SC, we felt the 6 SC improved light transmission elevated it to a level that would be suitable to more people than the 5 SC which is an excellent telescope in its own right, but is better suited for beginners. Uh, similarly, we felt the 8SC larger size, costlier price point, and professional level light capturing abilities made it a more capable telescope, but one that would appeal to fewer people. Next at number nine, we have Celestron Next Star 5SC. Combining premium optics, great value, and seamless functionality, the Celestron Next Star 5 SE makes locating your favorite celestial bodies a breeze for beginners and curious amateurs. Thanks to its slew of novice-friendly features, the Celestron Next Star 5 SE is our pick for the best telescope for beginners. The 5 SE doesn't pack quite the same performance punch as its big brother, the Next Star 6 SE, but its 125mm aperture, 50x magnifying power, 
and multi-coated optics are more than enough to produce clear, crisp images of the moon and planets. The next Star 5 SE Easy to Use Tracking System utilizes an automated mount to pinpoint and focus on any of the more than 40,000 celestial bodies stored in its vast database. The ease and speed at which these objects are located, as well as the resulting image that follows, will also appeal to beginners as it rewards their stargazing efforts immediately. Even though the next Star 5 SE weighs nearly 30 pounds, it breaks down fairly easily, making it a breeze to transport. And, thanks to its intuitive design, reassembling the telescope is a breeze. So users, especially beginners, won't have to worry about any complicated steps or procedures. Looking for a more budget-friendly option for beginners, Popular Science's Astromaster Refractor Telescope works with Bluetooth to let you capture compelling photos and videos. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Celestron Astromaster 70AZ. The best telescope for kids is one that delivers an exciting experience for young stargazers without overstressing their parents' budget. The Celestron Astromaster 70AZ satisfies both those requirements thanks to its ease of use, high-quality optics, and reasonable price tag. The Astromaster A70 is a refracting telescope with a 70mm, 2.8-inch aperture, 900mm, 35.4-inch focal length, and your choice of magnification, either 45x or 90x depending on which eyepiece you use. The telescope sits in an easy-to-operate alt-azimuth mount, which moves vertically and horizontally and connects to the included steel tripod. Also included with the Astromaster are the aforementioned 1.25-inch eyepieces, a finder scope, an image diagonal, and free software to help young astronomers develop their celestial knowledge. That's all for today. We upload outdoor product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.